So today's session is bathroom sensology. Okay, so we're going to explore all of our senses uh, around things that we might experience being in the bathroom. Because for a lot of children, sometimes there's certain experiences that we really don't like, or that we struggle to deal with certain sounds, certain textures, smells. It could be anything. Um, so we generally try and have these sensology sessions just to get us a little bit more used to the things we might see and hear and smell and explore while we're experiencing some of those things that we might not necessarily like all the time. So, first of all, we're going to say hello. Like always, I've got my drum and I've got my bells. Are you ready? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Can you stretch your pie? Choo -choo. Can you stretch down low? Can you wave your hands to say hello? Hello, hello, hello. Can you bang your drum? Hello, hello. Can you bang your drum? Can you bang it fast? Can you bang it slow? Bang it loud. To say hello, 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 hello. Can you shake your bell? Hello, hello. Can you shake your bell? Can you shake them fast? Can you shake them slow? Can you shake them loud? You say hello, 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 hello to everyone. Hello, hello. Let's have some fun. Right, let's get using our senses and see what we're going to explore today. Right, so, as you can tell, there's not very much room in my bathroom. So, we're going to start off with a little warm-up, just to get our bodies moving. And we're going to start off with the song, I've Got a Body. So, just copy the actions and find the different body parts. Are you ready? So we just want everything moving for now. Of smell. Right, so our first sense that we're going to explore is our nose. So in the last session today we had a look at the different things that we might be able to smell in the bathroom, not that one, but everything else. Um, and then we played a song and we explored all the things in our own bathroom 
while the song played. Okay, so today I'm just going to show you, rather than playing the songs out loud, um, I'm just going to show you the different things you can explore and you can choose your own song that you'd like to explore them to or you don't have to have a song at all. You can just explore them in the bathroom. Okay, so there's lots and lots of different things in our bathroom. Smell! So one of the main things is lots and lots of different soaps and shampoos and toothpaste. So I know in my bathroom, sorry, everything's full of bubbles from the session earlier. <laughs> so we have lots and lots of different toothpastes. But my little girl doesn't always like to um, brush her teeth properly. So we've tried endless toothpaste, different flavours, different smells. So here I've just got two of them. One of them is lovely and minty. So you could have a smell of the minty toothpaste. Okay, and then if you had the different one, it doesn't matter if you don't, you could just smell the minty one. So we've also got a strawberry smelling one, which smells very nice and she doesn't like either. Okay, so you could explore different smelling toothpastes and then you also might have different smelling soaps. So you might want to put a little bit of soap on your hand or if you wanted, you could put a little bit on a tissue if you didn't want it on your hand for now and you could smell all the different soaps and moisturisers maybe that you have in your bathroom because some of them will smell, or most of them will probably smell really, really nice okay, so in mine I have some strawberry smelling soap I have some lavender smelling soap and I have what else? Japanese garden we have the blue redox and then, well see this has got wet as well <laughs> we've got a little bag of fresh lavender okay which smells even more so now it's got wet okay so you might have fresh fresh flowers in your bathroom that you could smell. So why don't you try smelling all the different things in your bathroom and see which you like and which you don't like. Give it a go. Sense of hearing. So the next sense that we're going to explore is our sense of hearing. So to hear things we use our ears. Can you find your ears now? Well done. So we've got two ears, okay? Some people struggle to hear things and they might have small devices, small hearing aids that help them. And some people might just hear through the different vibrations of things, okay? So we all hear in different ways, but today we're going to explore what we can hear in the bathroom. So we're going to use, we're going to play the song, in the background just a little bit just to drown out some of my voice um, and we're going to explore the different things that we can hear so we're going to start off with I'm going to put, just put my watch on so it's waterproof um, we're going to start off with the sound of water so you might have water from a tap so shall we listen <laughs> You can hear that water filling up my bath coming from the tap. Stop that for a minute. You might have a shower head or a big one up there, but I'm just going to use this one for now, which might give you a different sound from the bathroom. That's on the side of the bath. And that's in the water. Side of the bath. And in the water. Now even though this isn't a wet room, this shower head normally is all around the room. So that gives you different sounds again. Another thing that you might hear when you're in the bathroom could be a toothbrush. 
You might have an electric toothbrush. Shall we listen? Okay, so some of us might not like that sound. That also gives you a bit of a vibration, but you might have to do that for two minutes. Or you might hear somebody in your family doing it for two minutes. Shall we listen again? That could be a very difficult one to get used to, one that you might have to build up slowly. Or you might really like it. Another noise, specifically for a little boy, or a big boy. Okay, you or somebody in your house might have a shaver. And these are even louder than the toothbrush and very, you've got to get used to these I think. So, we definitely need to listen to this I think. Are you ready? It's going to be a little bit noisy. So it's a different one and again it vibrates. But it's a different kind of sound. Can you stop it? And I'm going to go again. Are you ready? You're going to listen. It's vibrating all the way around. And stop. So some of you might even have your hair cut with these. Okay. Which, I can imagine feeling very scary when somebody is coming near your head and near your ears, because it gets even louder if you hold it closer, with this. So this might take a little bit more time to get used to. Okay. So, there's one more thing in the bathroom that sometimes we might hear. Well, we'll probably hear it every day, actually. And no, it's not what you're thinking. We're not doing that one. But it is the toilet. So in a minute, I'm going to turn the screen around so you're going to what? You're going to see the toilet and we're going to flush it together and listen together. Because sometimes, some toilets can be really, really loud, can't they? And a little bit scary. They might make us jump. But the more we get used to them and the more we hear them, the better and easy it will be. So now we're going to look and listen to the toilet. So are you ready? We're going to look and listen to the sound of the toilet. We've got to go to this button at the top and we're going to press. And that was the sound of the toilet. So we just listened to the sound of the toilet and one that I missed before, a good sound of splashing. So now we're going to listen to a little bit of splashing. So you could put some water in your bath or in a sink or just in a bowl. Can you hear me splashing? I'm swirling the water around. with the water sound. Splash, splash, swirl, swirl. Splash, splash, swirl, swirl. So, maybe you could try and make some patterns in the water. Sense of touch. So, the next sense we're going to look at is the sense to feel. So, a lot of these things do overlap. Um, a lot of things you might be able to, obviously you can see, you can feel, you can hear, they all mix and match. But if we're just gonna look at purely feel for now, okay, a lot of people only presume that we can feel with our hands, but that's not true. So, for all these things that I'm going to show you in a minute, you could try feeling them with your hands, you could try feeling them on your feet, you could feel them on your face, or you could feel them on any part of your body and your skin. Okay, so you could feel them all over. So one thing 
that we'll probably all use will be a towel. So here I have a yellow towel. Yours might be black, white, brown, orange, pink, green, blue. They could be any colour, they could be multicoloured. Um, okay, but all towels feel different, depending on how you wash them as well. Um, so they might be soft towels, they might be hard towels, um, they might have little lumpy bumpy bits on it or frilly things on the end. Uh, but you could try feeling this in your hands, and feeling it on your feet, like I say, and your face, <gasps> running it through your hair. You could just feel it in lots and lots of different places all over your body. Another one, you might have cotton wool in your bathroom or cotton wool pads. So these are nice and soft. So you could explore these around your face, again, all over different parts of your body. You could try just holding it in your hands. And then, if you wanted, you could put it in some water and see what happens. Okay, so if you put it in the water, and obviously now it's very wet, but it feels very different. You could squeeze the water out so you can now rub this over your hands and your body again. Or you could just leave it and you could move it around in the water while you feel the water. So another one for feel. Obviously, one of the main ones that we do in the bathroom is the water. So you might like to feel the water warm and then you might like to explore it cold. Obviously, I'm not saying jump into a big bath of cold freezing water or boiling in the oven either. Uh, but just explore different temperatures, maybe with your hands or with your feet or even with the, um, the cotton pad. And just see what temperature you like best. Because some people do like it a little bit warmer or a little bit cooler. Um, everybody's different and everybody likes different things. So you might be able to feel a sponge or a loofah. You might have a flannel that you use in the bath. So, yeah, so they feel very different to each other. I'm trying to squeeze them in my hand, pass them and explore them in your hands. You could explore them all over your body. What else have we got to feel? So accidentally in the live session, I forgot that I put my toilet roll in the bath to make it easier to get to. And then I turned the shower head on. And look what happened. It went all soggy and mushy. So, if you wanted to put a toilet roll in some water and feel it, <laughs> and feel the difference, go for it. It feels quite nice actually. So you could squeeze it all out, you put it back in water and you'll watch it expand back up again, okay? Or if you didn't want to wet a full toilet roll like I did, you could explore just normal toilet roll and you feel how soft it is, feel what happens to it when it gets wet and just feel how it is on your skin. So lots and lots of different things to feel. There is more, but I'm gonna let you explore by yourself for now. Sense of seeing. So now we are on to the sense of seeing. <laughs> I forgot that for a second, sorry. I just turned my head back and I realised I turned it the wrong way. So the last video, my eyes might be going here, there and everywhere because I'm looking at the wrong place. Um, so, see. What can we see in our bathroom? Okay, we're going to start off, you might have some different bath toys. Okay, so here we've got a frog. If you're squeezing, all the aqua bowls come out of in different colours. So you might have, and we also have lots of, she says, shiny bowls. So it doesn't want shine anymore. Woo, there we go. Shiny bowls, because my little girl likes to turn all the lights off 
and be in the dark with the shiny balls in the back and throwing them all over the walls. Um, so we have lots of those spiky shiny balls which are nice to look at. But one of the big things I think to look at when you're in the bathroom is all the pretty different colours that you might have. Now, I don't know whether it's just me, but I think we have every single colour. At the minute we don't have green, I don't think. Um, but you might have purple. So, you might have blue. So, you might have yellow soap and you might have white soap or you might have pink soap like I said we seem to have every colour under the sun but the good one with this pink soap bring you a little bit closer and I'm going to turn you round. So as you can see I've just put all those different soaps in my bath. All those different colours you can still see the purple a little bit, the blue, the yellow, you can't really see the white one but you can see the pink. So watch what happens now when I swish it all around. See if you can see and tell me what is going to happen? Can you tell me what's happened? So not only is my water pink, I now have lots and lots of bubbles. Who doesn't like bubbles, okay? We always have bubbles in our bath. Whether it's these bubbles in the bath with us, or whether we have a tub of blowy bubbles and we blow them. And then they sit on the water, okay? So that's something really exciting that you can see, that you can try at home, and you can see if you can make your own bubbles by wiggling your body in the bath. Give it a go. Sense of taste. So there's one sense that we've not looked at now. And you're probably thinking, can we really do that in the bathroom? Well, so it's our sense of taste. Hmm, what can you taste in the bathroom? Like I said before though, this is a little cheeky one really. So if you're having a nice relaxing bath, you might like Nibble some chocolate in the bath. I think there's never an excuse not to have chocolate. So you might have a nice bubble bath with a little bit of chocolate. And then, now I don't know what you might drink in the bath, but I always have a glass of water. Okay, so you might have a little drink in the bath if you wanted to explore your senses. It's water. <laughs> so, that was just a little sneaky one just to include taste really. Um, one nice thing that a friend of mine got my little girl that I wanted to share with you. And we've not got any left actually because she's used them that much. They've all been worn out but we need to get some more you can get some little bath crayons that you can get just from Asda or Tesco or anywhere online probably and they were brilliant she loved right in in the bath with them all over the bath and they really do just wash straight off with the water um, but they don't wash straight off too fast before they've finished doing whatever they're doing um, and they were really really good so she had some little pictures of Peppa Pig or you could get whichever pictures you wanted that stimulated you and that um, took your fancy. 
Um, so it might be Paw Patrol or Transformers, it could be anything. And we would, I would hide the character around the bath and I would draw a line going up and under and round taps and everywhere with these pencils and she would follow it with her finger going round and round and then she'd find the character so it was just a nice little fine mortar and then she'd do it back to me and I had to follow it so it meant that she drew the line but I just thought I'd share that with you for something fun and exciting to do in the bathroom. Um, another one, shaving foam. Okay, we all love some shaving foam but you can always just draw it all over your paint, all over your walls with your shaving foam. Cut out sheep patterns if you want and you could pretend that you're shaving the sheep, getting the shaving foam off. Um, anything just to make that bathroom a little bit more fun and exciting. Uh, but again, it all just washes off, so it's all there's, there's no harm in trying it. If someone doesn't like to get in the bath, that's why I've got all the different smelling soaps, different coloured soaps, shaving foam normally. Pens, toys, everything, because sometimes we just don't want to get in the bath. Uh, but obviously we've got to look after our bodies and keep them nice and clean. So, that is the end of our Sensology session for today. We've explored all our senses, so if you want to go away now and explore them yourself, you can, or you could explore different things and see what new things you might find in your bathroom to explore with all your senses. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it might get you used to some certain sounds that you might not like. Um, and for now, that's all. Bye!